Thank you for downloading Manage Engine Service Test Plus. In this video, we are going to discuss project management. How does project management help organization? Using project management in Service Test Plus, an organization can direct all complex, nested, time-consuming activities into a streamlined flow, providing discipline in initiating, planning, executing, controlling, and completion of the project. When do we need project management? When an activity such as data center upgrade involves multiple parts, it's not easy to use tasks and task dependencies to implement the activity. So project management helps to break these activities into milestones and tasks for easy implementation. Let's take a quick tour on what project management in Service Test Plus offers its users. Users can track IT projects, associate projects to change requests if the implementation of a change involves multiple steps, export the Gantt view of a project into PDF, or the Gantt view of all the projects can be exported into PDF. We also have option to import projects right from Microsoft Project into Service Test Plus. Also, for frequently created projects, we can use project templates to frame default templates and for any issues or services that arises during the implementation of a project, we can associate incident or service request to a specific project. Now let's discuss in detail how projects in Service Test Plus can be configured. To create a new project, we can go to the Projects tab and click on New Projects. So, while creating a new project, I can choose one of the project templates and use them to create a project or I can start filling out my project details from the scratch. Here is a project which I have created using a project template. On the project template, I have predefined fields and milestones and tasks so that once the project is created, the corresponding milestones and tasks are triggered accordingly. Now, after the project has been created, there are other parts of the project that needs to be taken care of. First, we need to add members to a project. Now, how can we add members to a project? Inside every project, we have a members tab over which I can add a member by choosing the requesters or technicians and also assign them with corresponding roles. So the roles I assign over here will be specific to this particular project. So I can choose the role and click on add. Also, I can go to admin, I can go to requesters or technicians, I can associate a project role for a requester or for a technician. The project roles are project admin, project manager, team leader and team member. I can associate project admin for a requester as well. So when the requester logs in, they get access to the project staff and having project admin allows requesters to create projects and likewise project manager helps them to create milestones team leader helps them to create tasks and so on so we can also create custom roles and assign it to requesters and technicians this custom role for projects is available under the admin tab and right under project roles I can create new roles and assign it to requesters and technicians. So any role associated on their user's profile defines what role they play when they log into Service Test Plus by default. While assigning roles on a project, it defines that's the exact role the user would be playing on that very specific project. Now once I've added my members, my members are listed right under the members tab. So this way it helps me to associate members to tasks 
milestones as well as to the project. Now, the progress of a project is defined by completion of its tasks. So completion of the tasks denotes completion of the milestone, which in turn will help us understand where the project stands. Now, when the technicians or the requesters complete their particular task, they can go ahead and add work log for the hours they have worked. So adding a work log helps us to track collective information of the total time spent right under the timesheet section. So this way, all the work logs that's entered on the task will be captured and a total summary of time taken and the hours spent will be listed under timesheet. Gantt view on a project helps us to understand where the project currently stands. I can differentiate between milestones or tasks of a specific project and understand where the project is actually trending. Now, this Gantt view is also available across all the projects that I'm currently having in Service Desk Plus. So this way, using Gantt view, I can filter between projects, milestones or tasks, and I can also compare it between members and see how the project is trending. I can also export the same data into PDF for easy understanding. When working in a project, we also have project overview map providing us information on how the project is branched out into milestones and tasks. So this way, with a single click, we can understand what are all the tasks and milestones that's configured on a particular project and the same can be exported into PDF. Since this project is part of a change request, I have created a change and from the implementation stage, I have associated this corresponding project. So this is my change request that I've created earlier and right from that particular change, I have associated a project. Now let's take another change for example and see how the project can be associated. So here is a firewall change that's been triggered and it's right now under the implementation stage. I can click on associate project and it helps me with the available projects. So while associating, if my project is not listed or if my project is yet to be created, I can create the project and I can provide information regarding the particular project and click on save. So this way, when creating from a project template, it's gonna have all the milestones and tasks that's already been created on the project template. So this is the project that I've created from change. It has all the corresponding milestones and information of this particular project. So this way, from a change ticket, I can either associate or create a new project and automatically associate to a change. Also, the change details will be published right under the project details section. When working on a project request, when any issue or service requirement comes up, the same can be registered as requests and from the project, we can associate the same request for reference. So this way, any issue or service requirement that comes up during the execution of a project can be noted down against the specific project. Now let's take a look at the admin configurations that we have regarding the project management. So as discussed earlier, we have project templates. Using project templates, I can create a new template providing the template name and project title. Since this activity would be triggered frequently, I can set it up as a template. I can add a milestone underneath this particular project as well as for each milestone that I create, I can go ahead and add tasks. So this way, all the project templates that I've created would be listed right under my project templates. We can create project roles, assign these roles to users while working on a project or set them on the profile by default. While adding a new role, I can define my access permission for milestones, projects and tasks or I can also define view permissions for projects, milestones and tasks. We also have project types and project statuses separately to track different type of projects that's been created and define them with different status for projects. 
Finally, if we need to import Microsoft projects into Service Test Plus, we have option to import Microsoft project right into Service Test Plus. Over here, we have a sample option on how the file looks like. So I'm saving this particular file and if I need to import the file, I click on Browse. Choose the sample file and click on Import. So this way, my projects from Microsoft Project will be successfully imported into Service Test Plus.